hello guys welcome to another video in this video we are going to learn about the polyembryony so what is polyembryony as per the name polyembryony it refers to the development of many embryos from on egg when two or more than two embryos develop from a single fertilized egg then this phenomena is known as polyembryony in the case of humans it results in forming two identical twins this phenomena is found both in plants and animals here you can see that polyembryony and different types of embryo develops from a on from an egg cell then polyembryony in plants the production of two or more than two embryos from a single seed or fertilized egg is termed as polyembryony in plants this phenomena is caused either due to fertilization on or more than on embryonic sac or due to the uh, origination of embryo outside of the embryonic sac this natural phenomena was first discovered in the uh, 1719 by anthony uh, van leeuwenhoek in citrus plant seeds here you can see and the embryo sac, polyembryo sac of uh, uh, almas glabra showing zygotic and antipodal embryo. So this is um, uh, polyembryony in plants. Then types of polyembryony. Generally polyembryony is two types. First one is induced polyembryony and second one is spontaneous polyembryony. So what is induced polyembryony? Induced polyembryony contains examples of uh, polyembryony that has been induced artificially. That means it is artificially. Then spontaneous polyembryony. Uh, all cause cases of naturally occurring uh, polyembryony are classified as spontaneous polyembryony. That means uh, induced polyembryony is artificially and spontaneous polyembryony is naturally. Then according to Weber, polyembryony is three types. First one is cleavage polyembryony, second one is simple polyembryony and last one is rosette polyembryony. So what is cleavage polyembryony? Cleavage polyembryony occurs when a young embryo or zygote divides into two or more units. Then simple polyembryony. Simple polyembryony occurs when uh, more than one egg or many archegonia uh, uh, eggs are fertilized then rosette polyembryony additional embryos emerge from the rosette cells in some gymnosperms and this kind of polyembryony is known as rosette polyembryony so these are the types of uh, polyembryony according to Weber then there are some significance of polyembryony such as in plant breeding uh, and horticulture this phenomena is very significant in horticulture new cellular seedlings of citrus have been shown to be superior clones of orchard stock versus cuttings the new cellular embryos on the other hand are intended to be disease free and new cellular seedlings are meant to restore the uh, vigor that has been lost due to continual cutting propagation. The adventive polyembryony is extremely beneficial in the growth of citrus and mango plants. This, uh, the use of adventive embryo is also crucial for uh, producing genetically homogeneous fruit tree seedlings. Then the haploids may be utilized to create homozygous diploids which are extremely valuable. Then uh, due to the practical significance of haploids in plant breeding, techniques for artificially producing these embryos from eggs or uh, synergids have been recognized. So these are the significance of a polyembryony. Uh, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.